What is up people, Dunny here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at two different products that I think are some of the best ways that you can carry your camera. And make sure to stick around and watch all the way through because I'm gonna show you a hack that I use with these two products that makes them even more versatile. So first things first, let's kick it off with the Peak Design slide strap. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten comments on my videos asking me what the heck the little red dangly things are hanging off my cameras. This is the quick release system for the Peak Design slide strap. This is just called the slide, but they've also got a smaller version called the slide light, and they've also got wrist straps that look kind of like this. This one right here, the Peak Design slide goes for $65 or $85 Canadian. And even though I've had the slide light in the past, I personally prefer the big one because it's better for carrying my nice big cameras. If you have a smaller camera setup, you might not need this thick of a strap. Maybe take a look at the slide light. As I said before, these little red button looking things that you attach to your camera are the quick release system. So on either end of the strap, there is a little mechanism that you slide that button into. And when you pull, it snaps into place and it's very secure. And then when you're ready to get it off, you just push down on the button and slide it back out the opposite way. It's really nice because it makes it really easy to take on and off the strap. And I really appreciate having that quick release system. Sometimes the strap can get in the way if you're trying to shoot and it's still attached to the camera. So it's nice because you can take it off really easily like that. You can take your shot and then when you're done, you can just put it back on and it can kind of just live on your neck while you're not using it. Nice and easy. But it's not just the quick release system that I love about this strap. The quality of this thing is fantastic. It's very, very secure. I'm definitely not worrying about it breaking or anything, especially on this nice thick one. They've also done some cool things with adjusting the strap itself. There's this little locking mechanism here that allows you to then just slide it, which I think is kind of where they got the name. And then when it's in the position that you want it to be in, you lock that little mechanism down and you're good to go. The material itself is super soft, so it doesn't hurt the back of your neck. And in the middle, there's extra padding built up so that it's not weighing down on your neck and digging in. The other thing that they've done with this middle section is if you prefer to wear it as kind of a shoulder strap rather than a neck strap, there's little rubber bumps on this side so you can just flip it over and then it will grip onto your shoulder and it won't slide around too much. So they've called it the slide because of the adjustments, but then you can stop it from sliding. A lot of sliding going on, or not if you choose. Now, there's not a whole lot more to say about a camera strap itself. It's a fairly simple idea and they've done some really cool things with it. The only downside that I've really found to this strap is the little dangling things that you put on your camera. As someone who shoots video and moves around a lot, these little dangly guys can get kind of annoying. Sometimes the mic can pick them up and sometimes they're just in the way if you've got a lot of other cables and stuff going on. Or if you want to have a cage on your camera, they're definitely in the way. And on Sony cameras, they do don't fit through the little eyelets, so you have to use the extra strap holders that come with the camera. And I personally like to take those off almost immediately because they're just annoying and in the way. But that little hack that I was talking about earlier, that's gonna fix this problem, so stick around. Now, the second thing that I wanna talk about today, also from Peak Design, is called the Capture Clip. And this is the version three, so they've gone through a couple of iterations, making it better and better to get to this point. I've been a huge fan of the Peak Design Capture Clip for a while now, and there or other things like this on the market, but I kind of keep coming back to the Peak Design one. I think they've done a really good job with it. Now, it comes in two pieces. So there's the actual clip itself, and then there's the base plate that you attach to your camera. A set of both of these is gonna cost you $69 US or $89 Canadian. You can get just the clip itself for a little bit cheaper, and you can also buy separate base plates. There are two different types of base plates, one that is just Arca Swiss compatible, and then another one that's compatible with both Arca Swiss and Manfrotto RC2 heads. Okay, but how does it work? What is it for? So let's say you've got a backpack on, you're walking around town or you're going for a hike or something. You're going to attach the Peak Design capture clip to the strap of the backpack. And then you're going to attach the actual base plate to the camera. Then all you have to do is slide it in 
and you've got hands free. This is great if you need to set up a tripod or if you need to like pay for your coffee or something along those lines. You can just throw your camera right here and it's kind of out of the way, but you don't have to go through all the trouble of putting it into your backpack where you're gonna have to take it all the way back out later. In order to get it out, there's a little button that you press and then slide it out. And if you wanna secure it even further, you can twist that button and then it won't be able to be pressed so you can't get it out at all. That being said, I don't really worry about locking it too often because it is still very secure even with it in the unlocked position. Someone would have to come up to you, know to press the button and pull upward to get that out. So it's a very specific combination of movements if you were worried about it being stolen and it can't really fall out on its own unless somehow some magic way that button got pressed and you were upside down at the same time. Uh, oh no, my camera. The other thing you can do is attach the capture clip to your belt if you want to hold it on your belt instead of having to have a backpack on. I only really started doing this recently when I picked up this little accessory that they sell. You attach this to your belt and it's so easy to get on and off when you want it or don't want it. And it makes it so that you can have the capture clip actually in the right orientation. This has actually been a bit of a game changer. So if you are gonna use it on your belt, I really highly recommend getting this. They call this the Pro Pad and it goes for $20 US or $25 Canadian. Now here's the thing, earlier I mentioned that I had a little hack that I use with both the slide and with the capture clip that makes them even more versatile. I mentioned about the annoying dangly things on my camera that I don't really like to have. So let's just take that right off. So let's say I'm heading out one day and I decide, you know what? I don't think that I want my capture clip to be on my backpack or maybe I'm not taking my backpack. So I've decided on going with the strap, but maybe I don't wanna attach those little doohickeys to the side of the camera. So here's what I do. And to take the capture clip, I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna put one of the little buttons on either side of the capture clip. Make sure it's tightened down real good so that they stay in place. So I've got the capture clip with the quick release from the strap. So now I can go ahead and attach the strap to it, throw the strap over my neck, something like that. And it can sit here like this, ready to accept my camera, just like any other camera strap, except I don't have those little doohickeys on the side of my camera, which don't get in the way of my hand because I've attached it on the bottom. This way I can press the button, pull the camera out, and now I've got a completely free camera to shoot as I please without any extra attachments, except for just the base plate, which I pretty much leave an Arca Swiss base plate on all the time anyway. So it doesn't really change anything for me. And one of the best parts of it is that it's still versatile. I've still got a full capture clip. I've still got the slide strap so I can switch that in and out to whatever kind of configuration that I want at any given time. So that's the Peak Design slide strap and the capture clip and my little hack on how I use them together. If you're interested in checking out any of the things that I've talked about in this video, I'll make sure to leave links down in the description. And as always, I want to hear what you think. So make sure to leave a comment down below and on your way down there, hit that like and subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on future reviews and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.